Ready, set, go. Good morning. Uh, day two on the build. It is cold. Yesterday was like t-shirt weather, and we were all excited, we are in t-shirts, and I was sweating. Now it's cold. As you guys saw last night, we got a lot of stuff done. A um, few more things to do. Um, finish the intercooler piping, uh, install the radiator, all the fluids, and uh, hook up the ECU and the FMIC, or not FMIC, the uh, fuel ignition controller. So, yeah. We did. We just did a couple like cool gimbal shots of the the messy shop, um, and we're gonna get started. Oh, it's cold. I appreciate the the support that you guys have been uh, giving Ryan and I the past couple of days. Uh, you guys are awesome. Meeting some of you guys, meeting Benny. It's uh, it's been fun. I've enjoyed the trip, and even though it's like this is like my mini vacation away from from everything, uh, but I'm still like working. Uh, I don't consider this work. I consider it fun and. Uh, and I just enjoy it. It's something that I enjoy doing. And I want to get Ryan's car back up. Um, he's he's got to he's got to come back out drifting with us. So we're gonna get started. Hopefully get cranking. And by cranking, I mean cranking this engine, and getting it started. The shop is a huge, huge mess from last night. We basically, once we got the intercooler bolted in. Uh, we filmed our outros and then we just left everything and went to bed. Well, actually we went editing for two more hours and then uh, uh, and then we went to bed. So the shop is still a mess, but it'll all be worth it once that thing is making choo-choo noises. Focus. <laughs> Boo boos are taken seriously here because daddy. Pull it up, bro. What you do there? These are all brand new lines, bro. <laughs> See these lines, bro? Brand new, bro. Brand new. <laughs> That's your build. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm so full from that. Wawa. Oh my god, we got the, the big sandwich from Wawa. Yeah, oh, like a hoagie. Yeah. A Wawa hoagie. Yeah. yeah. Like the whole, the whole deal. Yeah, we didn't make the Philly yesterday. Yeah. Hey. So Ryan forgot to tighten down the ECU, and we weren't getting any spark. And we have a fuel line because Ryan, Ryan didn't tighten it down. Ryan didn't <laughs> fuel line too. And we still haven't addressed the. Uh, the power steering leak, which Ryan, Ryan also did. <laughs> I'm, I'm not good at tight. I'm good at I'm good at takeoff, not good at tight. That's great. That's all right. That's why I came all the way here. Yeah, exactly. Because we knew it would have been impossible if it was just me. We're doing collabs. <laughs> <laughs> on the tubes. On the tubes. Set. Yeah, we're good. It is starting to look like a car again. Oh man, we took a we took kind of a 
couple hour break because <laughs> uh, we needed to seriously relax yeah. but man this engine bay filled up quite quickly and quite nicely I definitely like the uh, the black and pink it looks great definitely looks a lot better than when it was in my engine bay in my opinion uh, right now we're just working on putting a like, little cone filter right here because when I had it I was running a window screen with a clamp kind of Kind of silly, but it was better than nothing. So before we got the engine started, uh, we were trying to get it started, and uh, it just wouldn't wouldn't go. Uh, for some reason, uh, we turned the key on, and we'd have ignition. The ECU would light up, and it would crank, 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 but no start. First, we figured out it was no fuel. So using, I almost fell through the wall. Um, <laughs> using. Um, my knowledge of the fuel pump wiring for when I did my LS swap, I quickly just wired up a switch and uh, forced the fuel pump on. So then we had fuel. But once we had fuel, we started to crank it again, would not start. Uh, then we just assumed that there was no spark. Um, we tried a couple different things to, to see if we had spark. We, we fumbled around for maybe like an hour trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I got into the car and uh, I was gonna, I was about to remove the um, ECU, um, and I put the, the socket on, turn it to the left, and it's already loose. So realizing that it was loose, uh, I started to tighten the uh, the bolt, and it turned another like eight turns. It was, it wasn't very tight at all. Um, that's what I get for putting that job uh, on Ryan. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, it just turned out that the ECU wiring was, uh, it w just wasn't fully plugged in. Uh, plugged it in and it, dang thing started right up. Uh, it sounds, it sounds healthy, it sounds good to go. Um, we checked the air, the air fuel ratios, they seem okay. Um, on idle, typically it, it, it always kind of idled lean and then, or slightly lean. And then, you know, once you get on it and on boost, it would, it would be fine. So yeah, we're both pretty psyched that uh, the engine is running uh, and it sounds good. Uh, obviously, it's just the downpipe right now. He's going to take it to an exhaust shop so that way they can connect my downpipe to um, the rest of his exhaust. We did spring a power steering leak uh, just from a loose fitting. At least that's what we think. Um, Ryan also did the power <laughs> steering lines. Um, so. We're going to get get Ryan a Mishimoto fan and fan shroud and radiator just because I don't think that that OEM radiator and fan are, are going to be able to keep up. I, I'm happy with the way that this uh, this swap went. Um, I think knowing and understanding all of like the the downsides or the what's the word the, just the silly stuff that like my car had uh, due to previous owners and stuff like that. Uh, I tried really hard to do this right and do this so that way Ryan can easily understand it and fix it if need be, or just ask me. Um, ask you. Ask, ask me. <laughs> but it, it came out pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. And as long as Ryan's happy, we're happy. Happy clams. Why the shrapnel? Or... Oh, that's from the oil pan. You didn't know that? Yeah. I was <laughs> like, what is this thing? Yeah, that is when I when I blew my first transmission and I drained the oil, that was what was on the that uh, drain hurts. plug. Do you ever get that? You ever yeah. touch it? Just goes in your skin and says, yeah. Hi. Like, that's it. What's so your name? So, start sawing your hands yeah, off. Just... It'll hurt less. Hi. Hi. <laughs> he's new to YouTube. Yeah. I'm yeah, he's kinda camera shy. Yeah, I was like that no, cause my my record on the DSLR is up top. I'm like, is he a recorder? I'm like, oh yeah, look at that. Hello. No, I set up the wrong side. Uh huh. I set up my side for all my, the bolts and all that. No. Oh. It's okay here. Yeah, I mean.
get in my, my filming mood. <laughs> Let's talk. We talked about this. <laughs> oh, man. I like the two-spoke, too. The two-spoke steering wheel. Ah, uh, yeah. I like it until I was on the track. Really? Because when I was driving, I was like, which way are my wheels facing? What the heck? Like, literally, especially in, like, the... Yeah. Like the long sweep towards the end of it. Mm -hmm. Like when you're like, you, you're playing, you're playing, and then all of a sudden you have to correct, you know, and then you're like, wait a second, where are my wheels? Yeah. I'm like... A lot of pros use it, though. Yeah, I mean, it's just because I'm a noob. Yeah. Uh, so there you have it, guys. We are done. The weekend is officially over. The swap is over. Successful weekend. We did everything that we wanted to do. Even ran into to snags and issues, and we still got around them. Um... This is my first time dropping an engine with like minimal tools. I'm so used to like being in my own shop with like all the tools I could possibly need. Um, so it was awesome. It was definitely an experience. Um, we were both very tired. <laughs> we just got back from uh, Philly getting some some cheese steak. Some cheese steak. Um, now we're gonna start editing. I go home tomorrow or today that you're watching. I'll be back soon. Well. We'll be back soon. We'll be back up in Club Blue. Hmm? Hmm? Is that? <laughs> now he has a drift car back again. He has his his car. His car. The Because Daddy Mobile. Finally. Finally. I'm so excited. It looks so good finally back together. Yeah, the engine bay looks really, really good too. Like it's like we we said, it looks like almost factory, but boosted. Like you yeah. got the turbo on the side and Looks really good. I love that everything's all black. Yeah. Like it's like a, it's literally like a black hole. Like, like you you would think the pink was overbearing, but then when it was empty, yeah. yeah. But like when it's when we got everything in, it's just like, literally just the perfect amount. Yep. We're gonna get to editing, and then we're gonna go to bed, and then hopefully tomorrow, we can uh, take it up for some fun, some bang bang noise. Oh, you guys know this though. I didn't say don't mind. <laughs> it's okay. My video usually comes out after yours. So we're good. That's a so good. But, uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we will see you in the next one.